King Games continues hitting it out of the park with each new update. They've been building major excitement in the community for the fourth major update, and it will be major. Now we know exactly when to expect Souls of the Frozen Frontier. Here's what we know to expect so far. Mountains Biome. The new Mountains Biome will come with all that you'd expect, including giant mountains. Look how tall these things are. POIs and towns, new mobs and wildlife, quests, building blocks and furniture to discover, including clutter to sit around the house. The landscape really caught my attention. Of course, these mountains look like they have some real height to them. Is this why they extended the map higher? Or is there still a floating reason coming for that? But your eyes are not deceiving you. That definitely is water we're flying over here. Albeit looks like frozen water. This could be a first step towards solving the problem of having moving water in a voxel based world. We have seen a preview of what they would like the water moving in the mountains to look like. That almost looks like that could have been down the end of that frozen river when it's not frozen. It also makes me think that if this is a building block, could it potentially also look not just like water, but like glass in some builds? New mobs. We have ice dragons. We have flamethrowers. Whatever this troll looking thing is. And I'm sure there's more that they haven't previewed yet. New armors. New weapons, including the requested two-handed axe. We have this combat grapple that looks like it will make intense boss fights even more fun. Considering the height of the mountains in our future, I'm hopeful that it can help us with scaling those monsters as well. Because if you're stuck at the bottom of this ravine and need to get to the top, that would be a lot of digging your way out. Weather system. The new weather system we know is going to include snow in the mountains. We've also seen a little preview of what rain might look like. I'm not sure what other details of how the weather system will work. Although one of the devs did say that we'll have a mom that will warn us to get inside before we get too cold. So maybe being flame born won't be enough to protect us from the cold. I'm really hoping as part of them figuring out the weather system and the lighting that we're going to have the sunrise and sunset evened out in the timing of how quickly that happens. NPCs. Our NPCs will not be so stationary anymore. They will begin moving around the base and interacting with us more. And so uh, NPCs will become more active and roam around. I would expect at least one new NPC with this update, as the devs have said that we should expect our bases to get a lot more full. We'll also be getting more NPCs around the world and in villages that we can recruit to come live with us and help with things around the house. If this turns out to be a full village building system like Bellride or Aska inside of Enshrouded, with all the free building of Enshrouded and terrain manipulation, then then i don't even know honestly it would be a gaming dream come true they've said they want to rival minecraft and that would definitely put them further on the path it may be controversial but they could surpass minecraft in my <gasps> mind yep i said it prove me wrong animal husbandry not only will there be more people but there will be more animals pets and farm animals Dogs and cats that we can pet to get a buff. Wild animals that we can tame and raise on our farms. Quoting, loads of cute little critters that you'll be able to tame and take pictures of. What do you think? I mean, squirrels and foxes would make sense. We definitely need birds. There need to be birds. Building. We can expect multiple new block types, multiple new furniture pieces, small clutter pieces, editable signs. Of course, a big question is always rotation of build pieces. This is tricky in a voxel based world, but I know they've been looking into it. So we'll see if they've quite cracked that code yet. Roadmap. 
The roadmap that King Games put out earlier this year seemed really ambitious to me. I mean, really ambitious. But looking at what they've done so far and what we know is coming in the Frozen Frontier update, it seems like there's actually a realistic chance that they're gonna meet it. Has that kind of thing ever happened before? I think the only thing here that they haven't done already or I've heard something about is enemy patrols, which may be part of the new NPCs moving around the world. Steam Deck support, the last I heard, they're still working on nameable bases, which seems smallish, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's included here. Nameable map locations, I'm really, really hoping for, though I've heard nothing specific. And portals to other servers, that's the only one that sounds like a big implementation to me. Even some of the future wish list things they wanted to get done this year have already happened, such as instance dungeons that we got the Hollow Halls. And notice that water is on their wish list for getting done this year. So fingers crossed, people. Before you all ask, Enshrouded is scheduled to come to consoles in 2025. Enshrouded Souls of the Frozen Frontier will release to the public on November 5th. I'll meet you there. Until next time, happy gaming.